Titled of juggling in store and online sales separately, well, the Shopify POS streamline your operations. In this video, let's see how we can set up the Shopify POS uh, so you can manage your sales in just one place. So you have a link, guys, down below in the description if you wanted to use a free trial and then later on having a huge deal for the next three months by only paying one dollar per month with whatever plan that you chose into Shopify. So first of all, you want to understand. Uh, what exactly is a point of sale of the Shopify? So the Shopify point of sale is a powerful tool for retailers that purchased your in-store and online operations. So whether you run a boutique, a coffee shop, a pop-up store, this um, guide, of course, will show you how to set up the POS. So first of all, I'm going to link. In, uh, of course, I'm going to click into the link down below. You are here until let's get started. So usually where you want to get started while you, you want to sell this, I'm going to choose two options to get started. Uh, the most convenient way is to choose the online store and the in-person at a retail store. This is for people who already have retail store, they have a brick and water stores. So if you want to sell only into an online store, you have a link down below once again in the description to check out another video where we only focused into online store into Shopify. But today, I wanted to focus on the POS of the Shopify. So, I can strongly recommend you to try to list your products in more places, for example, into Etsy, into Amazon, post it into your social media. So, these four elements are like crucial to get started with a POS. Let's get into next. And this is the part of I'm just getting started. Here, I choose that I have products I buy or make myself. You have the services if you want to enable this, for example, coaching, housekeeping, consultant, and much more. Let's just choose two of them, hit them to get started, and your store should be created in no time. Now, as I just told you here, we do have now a free plan available here for the uh, next three days. And then you have the option to choose whatever plan you liked the most and try it out for only one dollar per month for the next three months. So choose the option the best suits for yourself. In my case, in my case, I choose the retail because the POS uh, Pro is included. So let's decide this part later if you want to. Now inside you have now the dashboard of the Shopify. Let's understand a little bit more of how we can actually get started with the Shopify store. So now that you have now the Shopify element, to get started with the Shopify POS, we need the dashboard of the point of sale. So into the left part, we do have the sales channel, where we can check out our online store and our point of sales uh, element. Into the upper side, we can see the home dashboard of the Shopify, how we can get started with the setup guide. Down here, you can see all our orders that have been done so far. If we have all our products, we can sub many of them by collections, inventory, purchase orders, transfers, and more. We can check out that we can add our own customers. We can check out our own files from the Shopify store, the analytics of our store, the reviews, live view. We have the marketing where we can create campaigns, automations, and more, and the discounts of your store. We can manage discounts and promotions. Let's get started with the point of sale right away. If I click into the point of sale, we do have now this element. Of course, by default, the application has not been installed. So this is the part we wanted, of course, to set up the point of sale element. So if you choose that you wanted to sell, for example, into your own brick and the mortar store, you choose this option. Or if you have an own market for and pop-ups, you choose that option or choose both. This is totally depending on how would you like to get started. Now, through, if you're selling from another POS platform, for example, Square, which is really popular these days, you can select one of them. If you're, if you're just getting started, then choose I am not selling in person yet. This is for the point of sale application to help you get started and to give you the most advanced tools to get started and to not get confused. Right, so here we have a setup guide where we can get started, of course, with the very first option, which is adding your own products. So to get started with adding our product, I either choose to add product or to focus into products. Both are exactly the same. And this would lead you right into adding your first product. Now here what we can do is to add the title, the description, the media, the category, the pricing, the inventory, the shipping, the variance, and much more. I'm going to create one product as an example so you can see how we do it um, in this walkthrough. So let's say that I have my first t-shirt. Description, let's say 
a 100% cotton, unisex, and great design. Now, with this two element, I do have now the access to use here to generate and choose to extend or simplify. If I choose the option to rephrase selected text, the artificial intelligence is going to be helping me to make the description more, in this case, expert. I can change it for sophisticated, persuasive, supportive, and more. I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to now try to extend this. So, generate again. I keep, and there we go. Now, this is the part where I'm going to be adding my own media. Let's just add one image for this example, which in my case is going to be this one. And the price of this uh, t-shirt should be $6. If I choose the option that says compare at price, I can tell that the product was $12 before or $8. Now into cost per item, let's go for a 6 once again. Here's my profit and the margin. Now here into the inventory, let's say that I do have 45 of them. They don't have an SQ bar code. The shipping cost, let's say 0.2. And we only have this meta field. So by default, all of this element has now been correctly added. So now into the product organization, the product type, let's go for t-shirt. The bundles should be ourself. Let's go for ghastly. Collections. I'm going to create a new collection. If you don't have one collection, you can create a new collection here. But I'm going to just use the home page. And the text should be t-shirt. Now if I save it. I have now the first the step set it up. Now we can go back directly into this section that says get the point of sale application. If you scan this QR code with your phone, you might be having now the access to the point of sale. We can start to charge and make sales, accept payments and look up customer info when selling in person. Once you have now added this element, we can order our own hardware accessories. So the hardware accessories are going to be helping you to charge um, in person physically and you can just use if they're paying with credit card, whatever. And here they do have a lot of access where they can be having the global availability of the Shopify POS retail. For example, they have this accessory, they have this tablet, they have this availability. Um, so you, you select one that you like the most and you make the purchase. So once you have done this process, you can set up the payment provider in order to start accepting uh, money here. So if I clicked here, automatically this should be sending me directly into the payment options. Into payments, I'm going to choose a provider so I can start accepting real money. So in my case, I choose this element that says filter and I wanted to enable the elements that I want to accept into my store. For example, I can accept Apple Pay, I can accept uh, MasterCard and I can accept Visa. Uh, for example, the best solution for me is the Stripe account. And Stripe is like an alternative for PayPal and you can accept tons of elements into the country that you're only living. So I uh, just sign in with my email address and I hit now into submit. After I have done this process, I can go back into my home dashboard, click directly into sales channel point of sale. And you can see that now we can start to make some sales into the point of sale element. So I have now the stuff, I have the locations, and I have the settings. The stuff is, for example, people who are working with me, and I can give them access to the Shopify store. So I can add my own stuff and I can manage my POS permissions. So I can add the first, the last name, the email, the phone. And the permissions could be full permissions, limited permissions. I can manage those roles, create my roles, and I can create pins to access the point of sale application when they checked out directly into their phones. And into my locations, I can assign stuff to specific locations if I have more than one retail across the country or whatever. Now, inside my locations, here should be apparent locations where I have my uh, store. So my location, the type, the language, the small grid, applications, and stuff. In my case, I have across Canada and Mexico only. And lastly, the setting options. The setting is for changing your language to check out the small grid for different locations and to remotely manage your POS applications. You can do much more, for example, receive customizations, require checkout information, making on, uh, offline payments and customer received selections. All of this can be managed directly here for the point of sale. 
Now to manage your online store, you can click here uh, where it says online store and focused in the themes. If I clicked into themes, we do have this current down element where we can try to add more free themes or we can generate a new free theme so we can create and customize our store online. Once again, we have a full tutorial how we can set up our online store and to start challenging online. Today, we only focused into the POS, which is the point of sale on the man. So, now that you have set up your payment method, now that you have tested out your POS system, uh, you have now a team, of course, you can now mm, grab up, you have successfully set up your Shopify POS into the business, so from syncing products, processing uh, payments, so from syncing products to process payment, the Shopify POS simplifies everything. So you have now set up your POS, you configure the settings, we add the products, and you manage your payments, staff rows, and test your system. It is up to you to download out the application and check out that this one actually is fully functional and working. So guys, just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to TaxPress, and let us know in the comments what we want to uh, cover next here here into Shopify. Thank you guys. See you next time.